All right, welcome to another episode of Overlander Trailer. Um, today I'm gonna show you uh, how I set up the battery box, um, and I just installed a, um, a controller that essentially allows the battery to be charged as we're driving down the road. Um, what we had in place before this was just a simple battery charger maintainer that we'd plug into shore power whenever we're at a campground or, or wherever to keep the battery charged. Um, but the device I installed today is actually gonna allow us to pull power from the vehicle when we're driving down the road, uh, as well as incorporate a, a solar panel um, when we're ready to do so. Um, there's a ton of videos out there on, on how to do just about everything. Um, that's why on this channel we really haven't covered too many kind of how to do, to do stuff. Um, but I did not find anywhere, uh, you know, uh, someone doing this with, with this, um, this device. Um, most people are incorporating into their, their vans, um, you know, things like that, but not so much putting it into a trailer. So, uh, I'll just quickly go over what, uh, what I've done and then, um, feel free to comment if you have any questions or anything, but, uh, let's, uh, let's get started. Okay. So here's our SeaTech Dual 250 SE device. Um, again, this is uh, a device intended to allow a couple of different things. One, uh, to pull power from the vehicle uh, to charge our battery as we're driving down the, down the road, um, as well as uh, allow to, uh, for solar integration. So I can get you know a solar panel wired into the solar port uh, and it'll also charge keep a charge on our battery. So this, this is a really nice uh, piece of equipment to have, um, really useful. Uh, so, you know, it's certainly recommend it. All the reviews and everything I've read, it's, it's just uh, a phenomenal, phenomenal piece. So really excited to have this. Um, what I, what I kind of struggled with um, was connecting it to uh, the, the actual seven, seven way plug. Um, there's not a lot out there on, on how to do it. Um, I don't do a lot of how-to videos um, simply because there seems to be a video for just about everything. Um, but this, um, I thought, you know, you might find helpful because I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. Um, so essentially, to install this, what you're going to do is um, first you're going to run a 10 gauge wire uh, from the breakout box. Which let's go right down here and take a look. Um, so this is our break, our breakout box, which I, I have open exposed now just for the video, but we'll be sealing it up and sticking it back under here. But, um, so this is, this is coming in from the vehicle. This is where it gets plugged in. And then you've got your wires where, you know, your, your lights and your brakes, etc. Um, this black wire is a 12 volt, uh, power supply. Um, it might be different in some other units. So you'll want to check if, if yours is different, but in this one, um, and in most that's, that's what this black wire is. Um, the white is the ground. Um, again, you want to verify all of this on, on your own, but um, for me, um, th that's the sequence that, that we've got here. So what I did was run 10 gauge uh, positive wire from the 12 volt power supply uh, up through uh, into my battery box and then connected it to uh, the A um, port right here, which A is, uh, basically stands for alternator coming off of the starter battery. Um, so that's bringing in power from the car. Uh, and then um, what I, what I kind of didn't, couldn't figure out at first was um, how to get a negative um, power, you know, connect the negative side. Um, and what you do there is, is you actually connect it to the ground here. Um, so you run again, 10, this 10 gauge wire from the ground up through, and then that comes out and goes into here, which is your negative port. Um, once you've got that connected, um, then what, uh, what I did was um, run another sequence of wires. So another 10 gauge wire from negative to negative on the battery. Uh, and then from uh, this, the out battery port right here uh, to the positive um, on the battery, you know, over here. Uh, Something really important to mention um, is also in the C-Tech instructions. Um, you're going to need to have a fuse in between your breakout uh, box and the C-Tech. And again, from the C-Tech to the battery. So we've got our positive um, wire coming up from our 12 volt power supply, uh, 30 amp fuse here. And then going from our um, out port on the C-Tech uh, to the battery. Again, we've got another 30 amp fuse. Um, you can pick these up um, in a number of places. I, I just got these online. This is pretty handy. Um, this is just a single unit. Um, this one, I, you know, 
actually kind of splice it together. Um, but again, got picked it up on Amazon and I'll, I'll put a link to that in, in the uh, description as well. Um, other thing to note, you've got a couple of lights here. Um, it's not plugged in or turn, the vehicle's not turned on. So, so these aren't active right now, but just a quick overview. Um, you've got this exclamation point. This is an error indicator. So if this is on, um, you're going to want to review the instructions and, and see what, what's going on there. Um, power supply and then where your power is coming from, whether it's solar or alternator, um, and then where it's going to. So to the service battery. So um, I'll just go ahead and turn the car on and show you how this works. And uh, then we'll, we'll wrap this up. Okay, so we've got our vehicle turned on. Uh, as you can see, we've got a little green light there. Um, and then over here we've got our, our, our light sequence that's indicating we've, we've got power coming from our alternator going to our service battery. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're, we're connected and um, you know, everything is, is, uh, is you know, gonna be charging as we're, as we're going down the road. So good to keep our fridge going um, and then also show up to wherever we are um, with, a, with a fully charged battery. So um, really great device to have, uh, particularly if you're gonna be doing some you know, off-grid camping um, you know, this, the addition of solar panels is super helpful, but if you're going to take like a five hour drive to get somewhere for a weekend, um, you know, just get into the, get into where you're going with a fully charged battery. Um, you know, most of these batteries will, will last that, that duration, depending on what you're running. Um, we just have a fridge and, and some lights at the moment. Um, so not a big, not a big drain on the battery, but, um, anyway, hope you liked the video. Uh, give us a like, subscribe, um, and shoot me any comments that you have and thanks for tuning in.